The Tipman M422, you have seen this particular rifle, well, kind of this particular rifle on my channel a couple of times. This is their brand new edition. This is the Gun Owners of America edition. And Tipman has teamed up with Gun Owners of America uh, to make the M422 special edition. And what this is, is basically every rifle sold $25 goes towards uh, Gun Owners of America. And, uh, you know, I've been giving my money to Gun Owners of America for many years because I believe in what they stand in and I believe in what they stand for. And you couldn't pick a better 22 company to team with than Tipman. So I'm going to shoot this a few times and I'm going to show you what's really, really cool about this rifle. So I'm just shooting some CCI mini mags here. All right, I got to go for the 100 yard plate out there. Four inch plate at 100 yards. There we go. I was all around it. All right. She runs, she runs great. Now, there is a special trigger in this firearm uh, by my Franklin Armory, and I get a lot of questions on my Tipman videos. Will a Franklin Armory binary trigger work a, in a Tipman? Well, yes, yes it will if you've seen the beginning of this video. Let me load up another magazine and we'll do some more shooting. Before we do some more shooting, I've got to show you this. Some of you guys may have seen this. This is Tipman's new magazine loader. And if you own a Tipman or a Smith & Wesson M&P 1522, uh, you know, your Black Dog magazines or your first gen CMMG magazines. This thing right here will save you a lot of time and a lot of effort. You basically just take your ammo, boom, dump it in. I'll pick that up here in a minute. And you give it a little shake. And as you give it a shake, you can see the rounds coming down. And what this will do is allow a perfect load each and every time. You simply press the magazine in there like that. You hit click, it will not come out and you're going fishing. That's all you're doing. Boom, simply press that button. You've got 25 rounds ready to go. All right, let's do some more shooting. All right, now I'm using some subsonics here. Much quieter. Thought you were gonna get away from me, didn't you? <laughs> the good thing about Tipman rifles, I, I tell you, I own probably two or three of them, and they just eat everything. Um, no matter if you're using subsonics, uh, those were CCI cleans, mini mags, uh, standard velocity, they just eat everything, and they're relatively accurate. Let me load another magazine up. This time we're going to load up about three or four, and then we're going to do a lot of shooting. All right, let's do some more subsonic shooting here. Okay, ran that one out. Let's go with some mini mags. Let us see how well I can control a mini mag in binary. Holy cow! I don't know if you can see it or not, but I just dumped 25 rounds in a spot this big on that plate. So that plate's about 40 feet. So yeah, it's very controllable in this setup. All right, let's see if I can Hit some steel at 100 yards with binary. <laughs> I think I may have missed like one or two. So, all right, let's see what's going on here. All right, try to get. <laughs> that time it went out. But yeah, this thing is a hoot to shoot. I have told people and told people down through the years, you know, you're looking for an AR-15 22LR, you know, which one should I get? You know, there are conversion kits out there. There are, uh, you know, your Smith & Wesson M&P 1522s, uh, Chris's, there's several different makes and models. Seems like everybody and their uncle makes a, an AR-15 22. However, with this Tipman, I can tell you, I've shot all the other ones in the past, they're all good, but for the money, you cannot beat a Tipman. Uh, you know, you got your dust cover, you got your full-length pick rail. This is an aluminum handguard, okay? Got your M-lock slots. 
and you know with the uh, the binary that I have in here you can do your selector switch and you know you forward assist that actually works your adjustable uh, tube and you've also got the flip up sights that come with this rifle so if you don't want to run a red dot you don't have to or a scope it does have flip up sights that are adjustable I am running my Banish 22 suppressor on here and it is a really good suppressor it takes away that first round pop so I'm going to load some more magazines, do some more shooting, because with that speed loader, I can sit out here all day long and just go through hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammo, and my fingers don't get sore. All right, I've got some tracers in here. I don't know if they will run in binary or not, because tracers are subsonic, and um, shooting subsonic ammo out of binary, it sometimes hiccups a little bit. Out of mini mags, it runs flawlessly, but let's see if I can get it to run with some tracers and hit some skeet in the air. Let me adjust this back just a hair. All right, boom. <laughs> well, I missed. Let me see. All right, yep. Didn't cycle all the way back. All right, boom. No, nope. it may not work. Tracers are really cool, but man, they are dirty. Boom. Oh, <laughs> I got him. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just not want to run these tracers. A lot of guns don't run those tracers. Pull. <laughs> it looks cool. All right, yeah, I'm out. I'm out. So, well, I actually hit one in binary mode. So, I think I got some more magazines here. All right, let's try to hit some, some of the skeet with just a mini mag here. Pull. Nope. Pull. <laughs> it's not like I didn't try to hit it. Boom. Oh, oh, I'm out. That went 25 rounds really, really quick. All right, let's see if I got another magazine loaded up here. All right, let's just go. Let's just go on the Dolan tree right here. <laughs> and I'm out. So the binary, yes, it does work. It works much better with mini mags. You get a couple hiccups every once in a while, but it is fun to shoot. Now, Guns the Owners of America, if you're not a member there, be a member. And if you want to pick up one of these rifles, um, you know, you may want to look on Tipman's website. And um, so, yeah, they're an awesome piece. And, you know, it's a good thing that they're supporting an organization like Gun Owners of America because they help defend our rights and allows me to do what I do here on YouTube. So guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions whatsoever, put them in the comments below. Go over to my Instagram, Facebook pages and ask them there. Until next time, y'all be safe and keep blinking.